I contracted polio back in 1960, so disability is a bit of a passion of mine in making sure people are well supported. But I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners, the Turrible people, because it's a huge honour to be here today unveiling a painting. I've tried to depict um, what Memory does and some of the things that they've done and, um, and things that were pointed out. So it's a bit of a timeline using things that were spoken about on that day. How it starts off here is... These are the four people that started Memory. So we have four people coming together, three women and a man, and separated them a little bit because they brought into it men's business and women's business into Memory. And the U shape is the symbol used to depict a person because that's the shape you leave in the sand after getting up. And how we change it to male and female is that the women have digging sticks and coolerman baskets carrying food because the women are always working, always gathering food for the family. So they always have the digging sticks and the coolerman baskets. The man has a spear and a little bit extra in the middle depicts a male. But this is them sitting around having a yarn, initially telling the saying, well, what are we going to do? How are we going to organise memory? Then they come along and they start meeting with um, different organisations, different government groups, and they start to grow and get a bit bigger. But here we have the influence of the church too, because the people that started it were, were Christian people and were very dedicated to, to um, religion and to doing the right thing. And this is a symbol used in the Torres Strait Islands representing a church because it's the three symbols of people together representing the Holy Trinity with the crucifix above them. So that represents the people here, connection to the church and bringing those values into the organisation when they first started the organisation. And they start here to talk with government, different levels of government, to see if they can get funding to start developing Memre. And this is just all the government business coming in, you know, state, local, federal, coming in and starting to talk to people and seeing how they can support it. As they come along, they're getting bigger and bigger. And here's where they run one of the programs they talked about is the Mums and Bubs program. But as you can see, they've grown and grown and now they're quite big and they're going out into different areas and who knows what the future holds for memory. But one of the things I put down the bottom here, I was inspired by um, uh, Rod, a young fella I met. And um, he represents a person with a disability. Now, that's the symbol for a person with a disability because if you have a disability, you leave a slightly different shape in the sand to other people. So it's slightly different there. With a, a connection with the dots represents the, the soul. Oh, so here it is. He's memory staff supporting a person with a disability around that person, even close people developing relationships. And as that person comes along, they need less and less support. And here we go, as the person comes along, they don't need lots of support. They just have a one-on-one -on -one and they start yarning with people and start realising they can do a lot more. And then that person eventually becomes a peer model. And here he is, that person with a disability, supporting someone else with a disability with their memory, with just some support on the outside. And up here, this person is now incorporated and part of memory and has something to offer to memory. So it shows the journey that a person with a disability coming into memory is shown their full potential and eventually becomes a valued member of the whole organisation. And here all the different colours in the background represent all the different countries and language groups across Queensland that Memory deals with, from the desert to the hinterlands to the coastal areas, and the blue down the bottom is uh, them doing their work in the Torres Strait Islands and up and down the coast, so I incorporated that into it as well. So that's pretty much it, except for the track things. Uh, one of the ladies said that they said it was like tracks, like railway tracks coming in together. I couldn't figure out a way to put railway tracks into Aboriginal art, but I use these as forms of tracks of all coming in together and merging together and everyone following that same path. <laughs>